I just wanted to uh, give you some information about hair fall and uh, my experience with hair fall. So uh, my uh, hair started falling quite a bit many, many years ago. And uh, what happened was I tried everything like minoxin and it did work for a while, but it was a bit tiring, you know, using all these chemicals all the time. So I got a bit sick of it and it wasn't working that well. And when you stopped it and then the thing would go back to its original condition of falling all the time you know the hair would be falling like crazy so anyways i uh, i researched, researched a bit on it and what i tried then was i tried uh, the no no shampoo method <laughs> so what that is is uh, what i did was because when you think about not sh shampooing your hair you uh, you automatically think that of course your hair is gonna smell like shit, right? But the, the way I'll I'll show you a technique where it doesn't, and it worked for me. I'm not I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just sharing my own experience. If it helps, if you want to try it, go for it. Anyways, uh, first let me uh, give a little background on this hair thing. Okay, so I think shampoos uh, started, some people say they started in India like 300 years ago. But actually the liquid shampoo was first introduced in Germany, I think in 1902 or 1908, something like that. I can't exactly remember. Anyway, so I mean, when we think about shampoos, uh, we think that what happened before the 1900s, right? I mean, I think people had thicker hair, better hair. So what do they do? They just washed it with water. So I guess it was fine, right? And the problem with shampoos is, I mean, if it's working for you and you got thick hair, great. I mean, go for it. it smells good. It's fine. But the problem with uh, shampoos is that it strips away your all the natural oils in your hair, the sebum and uh, all the bacteria the good bacteria which protects your skin your hair skin and your hair follicles and all that and it's full of good bacteria and it strips it all away then your your skin is you know uh, open to all attacks from all these microbes and stuff so uh anyways le let's get back to this and in the next video i will show you i will give you another method also where you can really grow your hair fast a natural method but in that method uh, the stuff we use is a bit smelly and then you of course have to shampoo to get rid of that smell so anyways to coming back to the no shampoo method uh, so what i did was in the first week i st like say i shampoo a few shampoo every day so what you can do in the first seven days, you can uh, shampoo every alternate day. And then in the next week, you can make it two days. You can give a gap of two days. And in the week after that, three days. And then in the week after that, four days. And then you can do it a bit faster. In this way, your hair will never smell. If you run your fingers through your hair and you smell your fingers, no, there's no smell at all. Nothing. I mean, basically, there's nothing really. So, I mean your your hair environment the bacterium and all that and the sebum balances out i guess you can say it like that and it just becomes becomes really nice your hair becomes really soft becomes much thicker and all the frizziness is completely finished and it shines a lot more but it's not greasy yeah it's not you might think it becomes really greasy but no not at all so what I do now is after a month, one and a half months, two months, I do shampoo. I use an anti-dandruff shampoo. And then after I shampoo, the skin gets a bit dry. So I you, you don't have to use it, but I use a Vaseline with cocoa butter and I find it's pretty good. So I just use it once, you know, just rub it in the skin. And then, of course, for a while, for a day or two, it's a bit greasy, but then it becomes fine again. Uh, so this is my method. If you would like to try it, go for it. <laughs> if not, fine. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye. Sorry, just to add one more thing. Uh, in the next video, uh, I will tell you uh, another method uh, which reduces... Uh, you know, the, uh, the new... Uh, the 
male pattern baldness and baldness even with women what happens is uh, there's a, we have a hormone uh, the testos testosterone and it com com combines with an enzyme called uh, 5 alpha reductase and when they interact then they uh, they produce a very powerful hormone which is also testosterone but it's a very potent form of testosterone it's called DHT and what it does is it, 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 it attacks your hair follicles you know with the pocket where the hair grows out of like the root the root pocket and what happens is it burns that that hair follicle and slowly uh, the hair the, your hair will start falling a lot and the other thing you will notice is your hair will start growing thinner i mean the pocket is there and the hair is hairs are falling and then regrowing but the hair is becoming thinner what that means is that the pocket is closing slowly and once it closes then i mean it's done i don't know maybe the medicines might help with that i'm not sure but uh, anyways in the next video i will tell you uh, some natural techniques which are really good to uh, counter that all right cheers bye